My name is Courtney Terry and this is Arts Alive. My guest today is Natalie Fletcher, currently tattoo artist at Parlor on 3rd, on 3rd Street, on th but also <laughs> muralist, painter, all these other things. Yes. I think when you decide to go into the arts, you kind of have to say yes to everything in the beginning <laughs> and so you just end up being kind of multifaceted. Yeah, which yeah. I mean... Absolutely. <laughs> Which and so you started. You're from Texas originally, and so you started. What what art did you start with? When, um, when I was I was in Texas and I did my first mural when I was in college, and um, I had already been interested in painting, and then kind of looked into some painting schools across the country, found one in Oregon, been here ever since. Yay. So, yeah. <laughs> And that's what, and you were uh, an artist in Bend for some time. Yeah, yeah, so I started in Ashland. Um, oh, I went cool. to school, to a painting school there for four years and then um, ended up moving to Bend. And in Bend is when I started body painting and doing kind of some branching away from the canvas, mm -hmm. so yeah. And was that just kind of a, I can paint on walls, I want to see what else I can paint on? Yeah, it was actually kind of a, a, a fake it till you make it kind of thing. <laughs> so I was moving to Bend and I saw um, there was a job like back in Craigslist when you, you know, could, when Craigslist was a thing or not a weird thing, but right. um, there was a job posting for body painter. And so I kind of got a bunch of my friends in Ashland to let me paint their bodies so I could apply for that job. And then uh, the rest was history. I just really loved it. So, so cool. Yeah. And then, as uh, folks may know, you went on to a TV show, Skin Wars, and you won because you're amazing. <laughs> and then um, I remember a few years ago you came to the public library and you had such a cool, um, your documentary. Because after you won Skin Wars, you went on a road trip and you went to every single state. Yes, so in the finale episode of Skin Wars, they asked me, like, if you win, what are you going to do with the money? And I said, I have this project I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to see every state, body paint people in every state. And so when I actually won, I felt like, oh, yeah, I have up. to do it, right? <laughs> so, so I did it, and no regrets. Like, the experience totally changed my life and changed my path. And because of that trip, I met my husband now, and he is from this area. So, you know, it all, each piece led me to where I am now, so. Yamhill County. Yamhill County. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, I guess, so when did it jump from uh, temporary body painting to tattooing? So before I got into body painting, I was interested in tattooing. I've mm -hmm. always been interested in it because I had tattoos and it felt natural to me because I like to do art, but I also am kind of a chatty Kathy. So I like to interact <laughs> with people, which is why body painting felt really natural because I was working on a living canvas. And so I had been interested in tattooing. And so when I moved to this area um, like seven years ago, it just kind of popped back up into my brain that I needed another tool in my tool chest, I guess. And so I got into tattooing thinking it would just be like a part-time thing that I do. And then, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people later, it's kind <laughs> of become my main bread and butter now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is that like, do you know, hundred like do you know how many tattoos you've done at this point no I have, thousands? I have like a stack in my very disorganized filing cabinet I have like a stack of people's paperwork that's like this thick oh my gosh so like I, I have no idea at this point it's probably an average of like 400 a year or something that's like crazy. that so yeah it's crazy but <laughs> and are you still like I feel with um like with tattoos, like you're an artist, but it also, you're getting a lot of input from other people about like what they want and yeah. what it to look like. Yeah, yeah. Every day is, uh, 
a commission collaboration. Yeah, so it's not like I get to just be like, shut up, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. You know, you very much are people pleasing. Also, you become somewhat of a little bit of a therapist, while, you know, <laughs> like an unlicensed therapist while you're working on people. And I feel like I've really gotten to know hundreds of people because you spend like a really intimate one-on-one -on -one time with them yeah. doing something that's like really vulnerable, really sacred and last forever so no pressure right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and that would a lot of input would be yeah. necessary yeah exactly and um sometimes i have people that are like this is exactly what i want sometimes people are like i have you know six different things that i want to somehow put together and so um yeah every day is different mm -hmm. and and it has its own challenges and yeah but i love it yeah mm -hmm. i feel like when i've gotten a tattoo it's it's my favorite thing to yeah do that like let the artist because i feel like you you hire a tattoo artist because you want their art style and you've seen what they do and you like it and yeah. so um, I've always thought it's really fun when tattooing to just be like, here's my idea, yeah. but I'm not the artist, you're the artist, and totally, it, it's worked out really well in my, like, for my tattoos. Good, and yeah, I'm the same way when I get tattooed. Everybody's different. Like, some people are like, just run with it, and then some people are really particular, and then some people, you know, what I, what I like is um, parameters with a little bit of creative freedom. Mm -hmm. I think that's my favorite way to work because... You know, if they're coming to me, hopefully they've seen my work before. Hopefully they trust me, you know, to a, a certain point. But, um, yeah, so I, I like parameters. I don't want someone just saying, like, do whatever you want, because then they would end up with, like, a cheeseburger on them or something I just <laughs> thought would be fun to How tattoo. How am I feeling yeah. today? Yeah, yeah, because I'm like, well, you don't want what I want to do. I mean. <laughs> it's going to be weird, so who knows. So it's you, a uh, human canvas, and then you also are still doing a lot of murals. Yeah, I love murals, actually. As much as I love interacting with people, I'm still like an introvert at heart, and murals are my alone time when I can just like earbud and like listen to a murder podcast and just <laughs> zone out, you know. Yeah, something zen, something yeah. relaxed. And know. I like big scale art, like I really mm -hmm. do. I, even when I was working solely on canvas, I never did the little stuff. I like... I like moving my body, you know, but especially because tattooing is so sedentary yeah. and so small scale that when I get out of the shop, I want to be up on a ladder stretching my arms out, you know, so, yeah. And that's, I know there's the mural that is on Dylan's in Wilhelmina. Yeah. Oh, and the one in Sheridan. Yeah, that's under construction. That but is under, yeah. but it yeah. is still there. Yeah. Well, and then um, this summer you taught a mural class for the kids at the Art Conspiracy, right? Yeah. And How which, was that? Oh, that was like literally top 10 coolest things I've ever done. Like it was, that group of young people was, was like the most beautiful collaborators I've ever worked with and they were ages like 11 to 17 Whoa. which is quite a range yeah. of skills and but I kept encouraging how well they were working together and by the end of it it was like we were all family there wasn't a negative word spoken in those two weeks and their piece came out really really cool so and where did remind which one was it the Sheridan under construction one? Which no, was, was um, the mural. The mural, mural that, that the kids did is um, it's actually a movable mural. So it was oh, painted cool. on big boards uh -huh. and it's hung um, next to the Riverside Cafe. So there's like a oh, little okay. alcove thing in there and it's hung up in there. On a bridge, is it Bridge Street yeah. in Sheridan? Yeah. Sheridan downtown. Yeah. Downtown Sheridan. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cute. And had you like done a lot of work with? kids that age or like yeah, have done so that kind of coaching mentoring before? I have. I've worked for, uh, there's a nonprofit called Caldera and they are based out of Portland and I have taught for them for like 10 years. So I've done like workshops and stuff. I've never been like a public school teacher. I think that those people deserve parades. Yeah. I couldn't do it, <laughs> but I do okay. like, um, I do like working with kids in like like shorter bursts, you mm -hmm. know, like uh, like we have a goal, let's achieve this goal together and then have a showcase and be really proud of it. Mm -hmm. And I actually did um, a four week youth workshop at my shop and um, I had ages, I think it was like 
seven to 13 oh. and they had um, four weeks and they created three pieces of art and it was really cool. Oh, that's like pa painting on canvas? Yeah, or? yeah, it was painting. Oh, that's cool. And you offer, do you, you offer art classes kind of regularly out of your shop? Yeah, yeah. So just in the last, uh, I the goal of getting the shop was to be able to have the art classes up there, but it took mm -hmm. me a little while to kind of get my schedule figured out. But since um, January, we've been having like paint along nights, you know, like wine and paint nights. We've had different kind of events. We've had the youth classes and then it, we're in the talks with like a bunch of other kind of ideas too, because mm -hmm. the the shop that we have is just so special and everyone like really enjoys the energy up there. And I think that um, it's just a great place to create. And so I want to just have more of that. That's so cool. And you is it parlor on third.com uh it's nope. not okay sorry it's not well that's okay we have a we have a facebook page and we have an All instagram right. and then i have a new website that is it's still kind of in the works that will have a parlor on third tab to it Got but it. um okay. it'll be like natalie fletcher with all of the random things that i do yeah all the, all things. the things i know cool so people can find the shop on social media yeah. and find out more about classes yes and stuff parlor on third happening. it's not me i'm horrible at communication but my business partner braxton just nails it nice. and he <laughs> will keep people posted on everything and is just really better at that than me nice yeah and do you have any other artistic projects coming up you're excited about um, I'm working on a mural um, for Juliet's house, oh, which yay. is which is exciting. Um, I'm gonna do some holiday windows. I do that for people sometimes, which is fun to just get out uh, outside in the cold weather and like mm -hmm. have a mocha and just you know <laughs> do some temporary stuff. I'm doing. I'm gonna do uh, Union Blocks window first oh, cool. coming up and oh, so on Third Street too. Yeah, so doing nice. some stuff for that, and then um, other than that, I think no major projects until the beginning of next year and one of them i can't super talk about just yet but it is exciting so when i can talk about it i'll let you uh, know well yeah well we'll <laughs> invite you back yeah. <laughs> cool and I guess so, um, and then you, I almost forgot, you were also, you did a show, or you worked with a show in Philadelphia, yes. and it was a performing arts festival? Yes, so my sister is, uh, she owns a theater in Philadelphia, so she owns a children's theater, and she does education, but then also has an adult theater company called Humble Materials, mm -hmm. and um, so her and I started doing an adaptation together of the yellow wallpaper and we started in 2019 and then we planned on doing it in 2020 but mm -hmm. other circumstances happened right, so right. um but it was almost like uh kismet because the project evolved because of covid and the yellow wallpaper is a story about mental health and mm -hmm. you know like a woman being isolated rest therapy all of this so we modernized it we adapted it we incorporated um body painting and like it was a huge success oh my goodness. yeah it was really really cool it was a mammoth project and uh, like i flew to philly with a huge backdrop like i flew <laughs> like a 40 foot wide backdrop folded up in a in a box, yeah. Oh my gosh, I know. it was crazy. <laughs> Going but, through security um, with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was it was great though, and and you know it went off without a hitch, and it was really cool because usually projects have hitches. And yeah. This one was seamless. It was really nice. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. the hitch was the yeah pandem pandemic. Part. Yeah, maybe the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe that was part of it. Maybe that was what was going on. Oh <laughs> well, well, yeah. Natalie, thanks for coming and hanging out and having this conversation about your art. Um, My pleasure. We're thanks looking for having me. Forward to seeing what you've got going on. The Christmas windows oh, at yeah, Union Block yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're gonna have a holiday party at the shop, and anyone's welcome to come. Oh, cool! So when, when is just, it? Um, <laughs> December seventh, I okay. think. So whatever that Friday is okay. in December, and the first <laughs> Friday in December, and. Um, we're just gonna sell gift cards and have you know snacks and music and stuff. So oh, that's so cool! Just yeah. for people to come and they can find it on the Parlor on Third Facebook or Instagram. Page. Yep, Parlor on Third Three R D, not T H I R D. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah, okay. sometimes it's hard to even though like if you live here you know it's three, but sometimes. still, thank you, yeah. <laughs> Natalie. Thanks again. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> this is Courtney Derry, and this has been Arts of Life.